Hey everyone, it's your boy here, back with another video. And as you can see in the title, you already know what the topic is. And I know, I know, some of you guys are probably wondering, an X rocker? If you don't know what that is, I'm shocked because most parents out there know what an X rocker is. Most gamers out there know what an X rocker is. So if you're into VR, I'm pretty sure you either a parent or you're a gamer just on a random chance you just this is your first time in the gaming world whatsoever well first of all welcome and then let me break down what an x rocker is all right so an x rocker is this is a chair with speakers built into the chair now one sound quality is not the best two um, it is not the most comfortable thing at all. Believe me, it's not. And so, brings us to three, making you guys wonder, what the hell would I be on here? Like, I guess in a sort of way, promoting the X-Rocker. Well, the main reason why is because of my Oculus. Alright? And, and the reason why I'm putting the two of these together is because of the fact that I don't know it was just something that just popped into my head and I was like whoa this would be a crazy idea and let me let me break it down to you guys Friday night after work I was in Walmart and I was thinking hey you know let me pick up a few odds and ends and I walked past the X rocker chair actually I walked past it like three times looking for something before it even like made me be like hmm you know what I mean because every time I walk by it, I'm like man that, who buys this thing this thing is such crap walk past it and I come by and I'm like yeah yeah this thing is such a crappy thing I wonder if anything that would make it even be worth buying walk it past and I come back and then I was thinking to myself wait Maybe if I could sync my Oculus with the chair so they both play at the same time, I wonder what would that feel like? Because now I'll have the bass rumbling through my body in direct contact. That might actually be interesting. So, what I did was, I bought one. Took it home that Friday night. Hooked it to my computer. Boost up my um, Oculus, went into my um, sound settings, and found out you can't sync it together. Oh no, this is a problem. So, I went on a mission. It took me all of Friday night, which was completely fruitless, you know what I mean, on my own devices couldn't figure this crap out at all and it made me feel a little stupid actually then i had to go to bed because i had to get to work so i didn't even get to bed till like four o'clock in the morning to be up at seven to then you no know, actually I'm, I'm i'm screwing you guys up not friday night it was actually thursday night i started doing this friday night is when i actually had my breakthrough but there we go so I am now, you know, doing, you know, I mean, I've spent all Thursday night, nothing. Friday while I'm at work, I'm on my phone, I'm looking at videos, I'm thinking to myself, there has to be a way to do this. Well, I came across something. It seemed very interesting, and I was like, oh, all right, exciting. I ran home, and what it said, something was about the stereo mixer. Okay, and so the stereo mixer is, is this app, you know, is, is a, a, like a setting or something that you're, you're supposedly able to do in your sound mixer, but only, lo and behold, to find out that Microsoft removed it in Windows 10. Well, I'm going to cut past all that crap instead of going through all the details of how I got it to work or what I had to do in order to get there. You know, I have no problem making the video about that at a later date. 
Uh, I'm probably gonna do that regardless after I finish this one. Um, kind of go through the the steps and everything like that of what I did in order to get get the the two of them working together. But oh my effing god! When it did sync up, working together, it was utter amazing. Now, yes, remember I did tell you that the sound quality of the X chair isn't good but the sound quality is not what you care about here when it comes to this x chair right what you care about is now you actually your body gets to actually feel the world that you're in and though you're saying like what feel the world that you're in yes yes actually feel the world that you're in now there's any x chair employees or anyone out there right if you guys were smart jump on the VR tip and promote your chairs as a way of adding more to the experience of this you know what I mean and then you can even have developers that would throw in certain things that that you know create some drivers and stuff for your chairs because it guys is a missed opportunity here all right, but what I'm gonna tell you when I is you literally feel the world that you're in. All right, I was I you know I played playing Serious Sam and the music is playing. I can hear it clearly through my headset because the headset has pretty good um, sound quality. Mixed with the sound uh, the the um the sound of you know I mean of the world pumping through the chair. And the most important part, the bass that the chair provides. OMG. All right? It, that bass that this chair provides blows everything away. This is the PA to the resistance, as the, you know what I mean, to say. This thing, all right? Whew. Uh -uh. Just literally blows my mind in the way it, it, it just changes the full aspect of the game. When I have an explosion, I feel the rumble. I was playing from Other Suns the other day, and the sound of the the ship rumbled through the through the subwoofer, and it felt because I could hear all the all the little intricate sounds through my headset, but then I could Mr. feel the Mr. rumble Wesson. of the ship. Well, I could do that. And I was like, oh my God. I would be honest. I, I didn't think I ever really truly felt presence in VR before. You know what I mean? I hear everybody talk about it all the time and it's the reason why they love room scale, but I never really felt it before. You know what I mean? I never felt like I was there. I just felt like I was just playing a game. You know what I mean? And, and it might be the reasons why I, I don't get sick or I don't get any, you know, um, thing. And, and the reason why room scale does nothing for me. It provides no added thing. It just feels like a waste to me, you know? But this, this, I felt presence, people. And if you are a seated player, highly recommend. The one I bought was only about $130 at Walmart. Run out and buy it if you're a seated player. You will not be disappointed. And I will put up a video of how to blend them together so you'll, you'll be able to put it together and enjoy it. This is an amazing experience, guys. Um, and. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, you would not be disappointed when you see this. Not at all. It, it, the way it feels totally changed my aspect of, um, you know what I mean, that concept of presence. I finally, it finally clicked in my head, you know. And I'm telling you, all you CD players, you guys are going to be ranting and raving about this to everybody. You know what I mean? The only, I would say there. I, I'm not going to rant about all the pro. I'll end on one con. The one con is voices. When they're talking, the it kind of feels What's like an echo because you hear it to your I headset, then you hear it to the chair. But have a good one, people. God damn it. Any 
but also want you guys to remember to go ahead and um, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I'm going to be bringing lots of videos, you know, especially towards the um, seated VR gamer because I think we get slided and not enough people are doing stuff for us out here. So I'm going to be that one to step up and show you guys good settings to have a great gameplay. All right, see you.